the Joe Rogan experience. To me, Khabib is one of the scariest too. Oh yeah. Because oh, yeah. he's beating you down. He's not only beating you now, he's breaking you mentally. And for Most me, that people. is worse than anything. For me, he's yeah. the scariest one, pound for pound. Khabib. Is he the guy that you would come back for? I would have. Like, you no, would have. No, it's all over now. You're done? That's it? Ah, I'm done. It's three, th three years ago. Well, I took brrrring. my... <laughs> hey, GSP, it's Dana White. No, Listen, no, I got a fight for you. No, I'm going to explain to you. If he if he wants me to fight, he needs to, to do it. Like that. That's how he needs to do it. He needs to hide himself, wait that I'm in a gym training. Pa, 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 pa. Like, I, for example, I, when I was in LA with Freddie Roach hitting the pads yes. and getting back because I haven't done this it's because COVID, everything is closed in, in Montreal. Right. But I went back and now I found I found bat, found my mechanic back. Man, and when you hit, when you train in mixed martial art and combat sport, you become a different person, you know? And ta 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 and, and Freddie look look at me like he's like, George, you you get the hitch back. I'm like, ah, oh, stop saying that. <laughs> and if Dana White would walk in right now in the gym. In between round, I would sign the contract in a really? blink of an eye. Ooh. But then after I go back home, go back in Montreal in my comfort, and I'm like, there hell no. There you are, working with Freddie. Yeah, and, I'm, and people are, are like, hey, are you practicing left-handed? I've I always been uh, uh, both Switch sided. Hitter, yeah. I like how Freddie has a, a fucking, he's got a mask on his chin. What's that protecting, <laughs> Freddie? <laughs> Take that stupid goddamn thing off. <laughs> and, and and you know I'm 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 left-handed because I always been left-handed and it was a card that I, a secret card that I kept in my uh, in my arsenal that I if I would have need to use it. You but switch. I, yes, I was going to switch perhaps with Bisping in the in the fourth round and or in the fifth. Oh really? Yes. So you're more comfortable left-handed? No. You're more comfortable in the southpaw? No, I'm I'm I would say I've started a more comfortable as a regular stand but because i do karate i always if you right. ask if you ask my coaches everybody knows but i always fight one side because i believe it's a secret card that i that you can pull off and and, uh. and surprise everybody but you don't show your hand when you play card you only show what you need to show to win the fight well you see that with wonder boy like wonder boy he's right-handed but he fights in my opinion at his best when he's right leg forward because he throws front leg kicks. Yes. Like that's one of the things he does. Like he oftentimes will, he'll switch back and forth fluidly. Don't get me wrong. He can fight well from both stances. Yes. But when he's right leg forward, you see a lot of those front leg kicks. And that, that's some of the most difficult shit to get through with that guy. The, right? Yeah. The, there's guys that has a lot of problems fighting a salpa. Yes. There's guys like this. Switches everything. Yes, it's it changed everything. Yeah. So that that's why it was for me a car a secret card that I kept in case you know like like I, I, I would I would need it. But unfortunately for me, like Bisping was very good with Salpas as well. He, mm -hmm. he, he knocked out like Ruluk Rockhold. Mm -hmm. So he, perhaps it's one of these things that I should have used earlier in my career, unfortunately. And I did not. I well, yeah, unfortunately, you're one of the greatest of all time. How about relax? And I, I'm, very <laughs> I'm very critic about myself, Joe. And, and uh, yeah, yeah, but well, you've had an, it always can be better, right? But that's always one of the reasons why champions are champions is that they are self-critical. That's what makes... If you just think everything you do is amazing and you don't have any room for improvement, I think th some of the reason why champions become champions is this terrible discomfort of like l analyzing themselves and like not liking certain aspects of what they're doing finding flaws in their technique or watching a tape ah, i shouldn't have got hit with that why is that like ah, you get crazy and angry and then you yeah. train harder the yeah. people that are self-satisfied they're like really easily satisfied with their with their work they never reach the level of champion because they don't feel that horrible discomfort when you're looking at yourself and you don't like what you see yeah, and uh, my friend C.T. Fletcher says says that. He Shout said, out to C.T. Yeah, I love that man. dude. He's the man. Iron he, addicts for life. Big, big inspiration for I me. I love CD. him. And he says to me, when, the day that you're satisfied, choose to do something else. Yeah. Because, uh, and it's a little bit what happened to me in fighting. I made peace with it. I uh, like I, I wanted to come back for Khabib um, because it was... So, you know, for a fighter, the scariest thing sometimes is the most exciting thing to do. And it's a problem that never been solved before. But to come back for another guy and fight for another title, if I win, it's going to be another one after. And another one. And another right. one. And I'm going to turn 40 years old. And 
I hate to admit it, Joe, and I refuse to accept it, but man, sometimes I think I think my best years might be behind me. Man. Well, listen, you're oh, retired. I just it's said okay. it. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I'm not done. <laughs> no, no. But you are, are no. you done? Well, Dana, you're hearing him right no, now. No, 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 no. Let's make it happen. But no, Khabib no. has done as well, and Khabib is uh, what is he? Thirty two. I think Khabib yeah. is 32 or 33. That's right. So he's in his athletic prime. How old is Khabib? Find out how old Khabib is. I believe he's either 32 or 33. Yeah, but it, it's different for everybody. Some people yes. reach their prime at 25. Some people at 22. Some people at 35. You know, well, look at look at Boavich. He's incredible. Yes, he's 30, I know. 38, 38 years old and he's <laughs> wow. dominating the light heavyweight division. I think for Khabib, it was also a, a promise that he made to his mother. And that, I think that's where it lies. When his father died, he told his mother, this is going to be the last fight. And then he fought Justin Gaethje. Yeah. And he said, that's it. And I understand why. Because fighting takes a lot out of you and takes a lot of, out of the people who loves you. Yeah. Because you play basketball, you play baseball, you don't play fighting. And the out the, the outcome of a failure, it could be very, very bad. You know what I mean? It's not like uh, you you lose a game of basketball or right, something like that. Right. You lose a fight, it can have huge re repercussion on your he your health, your well-being, but also your income and your family and everything. Sure, like the like Stipe's loss to Ngannou. When you watch that loss, that that's a horrible price that he paid when yes. he got knocked out. And you see him out cold, and Francis hits him with that hammer fist after all he KO'd him, yes. KO'd him with the left hook. That's a horrible place to be. And if that's your child, you think of Khabib's mother oh, looking man. at him. And yeah. if that's your child, that's a terrible thing to watch. That's right. And, and But I think psychologi psychologically for a fighter, it's hard to come back from a, from a knockout. But it's probably harder to come back from a fight where you've been dominated and broken for five rounds. Like where mm. you clearly know that you did not belong there with the right. you know like 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 right. like Khabib's that's his style that's why I'm saying he's the scariest guy right he can knock you out submit you but he's, he's get, if he, he wins the fight you. it's not it's very less likely that it's gonna be on a on a punch that clips you it can happen but it's gonna be on a very dominant performance he's gonna maul you exactly yeah. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.